while some find it difficult. This is one of the racetracks that you get done and you're like, I'm shot. Others feel at home. It just fits. As Dover's Monster Mile gets set to welcome NASCAR's best back to Delaware in just under three weeks, drivers made their way to the Dover International Speedway to spin their wheels and prepare for one of the toughest tracks in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. It's a long race. There's a lot going on. Um, you can't afford to make mistakes. And it's one of those racetracks that, you know, to, to me as a driver, you feel like you're going fast. Sitting third in the NASCAR Sprint Cup standings is Jimmy Johnson, who is the track's record holder in all-time wins with nine. If Johnson makes another trip to victory lane following the next race at the Monster Mile, he will make history again. Joining Richard Petty, Darrell Waltrip, David Pearson, and Dale Earnhardt Sr. as one of five drivers to win at a single track ten or more times. The place has just always been so unique and different for me and the intensity required to make a lap around here is just fun. There's certain tracks that just fit a guy's style and this, this one fits my style. But given Johnson's history of dominance in Dover doesn't guarantee anything. The Monster Mile is notorious for being a nightmare for drivers given its size and surface which is made from concrete forcing some drivers like Joey Logano to make the most of every single practice lap. You have uh, more time to really um, take in what, what you're changing, um, look, go over the data a little bit more, have more time than an hour and a half of practice. Off the track, one topic sure to be talked about, Kurt Busch racing in Dover for the first time since he faced domestic abuse allegations during last year's AAA 400. An interesting story on the track, however, David Reagan manning the number 55 car for Michael Waltrip Racing. Following the temporary leave of Brian Vickers for health reasons, Reagan is set to fill in, putting him on his third team within just one year. I'm glad everything's settling down. I feel like I've got a, got a home and uh, I know where I'm going to be for a while and, and, and uh, we've got a lot of hard work in front of us. At the end of the day, regardless of who feels comfortable, who finds it challenging, and who is racing, the Monster Mile will be there, waiting to feast on any driver's potential mistakes. The fish was pulling and we ended up from over here to over there. Those are the words of nine-year-old Emma Zadel of Ocean City as she describes her fight with the largest cobia ever caught in the state of Maryland. On June 30th, the four-foot, 65-pound junior angler hauled in this massive five-and-a-half-foot, 94.6-pound fish just east of Assateague Island. We thought it was a shark when the first fin popped up. Once we got it closer to the boat and t tied the tail, um, we got it on the boat and we finally figured out what it was. Emma says she was accompanied by her father and their friends, Robert and Ashton Clark. She says on the day they set out to catch some fish, she was expecting to come back to shore with the usual, dolphin, tuna, or almost anything other than cobia. According to the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, a cobia fishery is closed off within federal waters. But if it makes its way into Maryland waters, it's fair game. I started reeling it in, and every now and then, Mr. Robert would have to pull me back so that I wouldn't flip over the edge. Emma admits she had some good help in winning the 20-minute battle with the cobia. We're told thanks to her fishing buddy Ashton, the lines were cleared so she could continue fighting her enormous foe. I was really happy, and when my dad said we might be a state record, I flipped out. The Maryland Department of Natural Resources says the previous state record for Cobia was 79 pounds. That was set back in 2014. After it was confirmed on Monday, it now officially belongs to nine-year-old Emma Zadel. Greg Wadone, 47 ABC. His legacy rivaled by few and respected by many. Jeff Gordon's career will forever represent the face of NASCAR for generations of racing fans as well as an inspiration. The opportunity to drive for Jeff Gordon and Rick Kendrick in Lowe's changed my life. Number 24 announced in January that the 2015 season would be his last. In his illustrious 24-year career, Gordon was NASCAR's best four times, capturing the Sprint Cup in 95, 97, 98, and 2001. He took on Miles the Monster a few dozen times, winning five. Overall, Gordon has compiled 92 wins. That's including one last year on this track. I've always enjoyed Dover. Last year was really memorable to, w to win this race. My family was here. I had friends that were here. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a great day. 
Gordon ranks third in Cup Series wins with 86, sitting behind Richard Petty with 200 and David Pearson with 105. A star on the track, Jeff established himself as a fan favorite in the first state. For years, the number 24 car sported a rainbow paint scheme in correlation with his Delaware-based sponsorship, DuPont. It was a relationship that he took to heart. Coming here to Wilmington every single year, visiting with all the employees at, at DuPont, you always want to have success in your sponsor's uh, home uh, and backyard, and, and, and we did that from the beginning, uh, and it always made coming here that much more special. According to his current teammate Jimmy Johnson, keeping others in mind was something he did consistently throughout the course of his career. Recalling a story of how Gordon helped open doors for what should be a Hall of Fame career. He gave me advice, and then he also left an opening where um, he let me know that Hendrick Motorsports was looking to start a fourth team, and I was the guy they were considering. It's been a, a life-changing experience, one that I'm extremely grateful for, and, and an experience that I think really shows what uh, the power of people can do. After this season, he'll be done racing, but his contributions across the sport of stock car racing may never be forgotten, just like the rainbow-colored number 24 car that mastered racetracks for 24 years.